What's up guys, what's going on? Back with another album review. So I think it's been almost a year since we done an album review, but I, it doesn't really matter. So today we're reviewing Satyricon Deep Calleth Upon Deep. Now I know 2017 is over, that's fine, but the shock value that these metal albums brought us will always be remembered. So, formed in 1991 in Oslo, Norway, the two core members of the band, Satir and Frost, made something huge when they formed Satyricon. The first three albums are considered true uh, Norwegian black metal, and that's you know, that's agreeable. We can all agree on that. But, Satyricon has made some good albums over the years, and not so good albums. In my opinion, throughout the band's whole career, their best album will have to be their debut album, Dark Medieval Times. Dark Medieval Times is one of those albums that you and your friends can enjoy, sit around, listen to, and it never gets dull, it never gets boring, it has such an amazing feel. And that's somewhat what this album has too. Now, it's been almost, I think, four years since the new album. So, I think the last album was uh, Satyricon, Satyricon, and that album wasn't bad, but it was definitely better than previous records such as Nemesis Divina or Divinia, I think that's how you pronounce it. I always get that wrong. But however, I think that's the worst album they ever made. Deep Calleth Upon Deep brings something more that Satyricon hasn't brought in years. Now, with this album, I don't know if you would consider it black metal, but I definitely would consider this gothic slash doom. Now, black metal has really changed over the years. So is Satyricon. They're one band that has changed up their sound throughout their entire career, which is totally fine. But sometimes others would argue that the change in sound has been for the worse. Now, with this album, it has a lot of new elements, new gothic feel to it. Um, the vocals on this thing are really crisp, like the mixes and everything. I like how the vocal tracks are layered on here. It's really like great, it's just layered to perfection. Satir sounds very good in this, like, we know in other albums his vocals didn't sound that powerful, didn't sound that great, it was really just mediocre, but in this, like, the band really stands out as a whole, mind-blowing guitar riffs, the fucking vocals are just top-notch, and everything about it, it speaks volumes. Now, some people are a little disappointed in this album. I don't see why. If you go through the band's history, they change up their style a lot. Their first three albums were, you know, the Norwegian black metal style. Then, probably around 2006 when they came out with Now Diabolical, I think that's really when they sound changed. And some may have seen it as the beginning to the end, but honestly, every band is going to have a bad album every once in a while. Now, right when we thought Satyricon was just going down the fucking toilet, they made this. To me, this is the comeback album. Yes, they've made good albums and they made bad ones, but this, this is considered... A masterpiece in my opinion so the tracks some of them are longer than five minutes you have tracks on here that's six seven minutes long and with this album you have tracks that stand out for a long period of time 
you have tracks that just keep going on and on with these really like doom metal riffs and whatnot. And the thing about this album, they keep you entertained during the whole thing. Yes, some bands, when they have tracks longer than five minutes, you get really bored and it starts to just lose interest. But with this, even with the real long tracks on this album, they manage to keep it fresh, they manage to keep it new. Each song has its own appealing sound and nothing about it is repeated. Like some bands like to repeat certain riffs throughout the whole album. But these guys actually bust their ass and you know they, they did it. And shout out to Napalm Records because this is um, a good label by the way. But these guys are doing a damn thing to be honest. Um, what I have to say about this album is definitely, is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, the artwork is amazing. My favorite track on here will have to be the self-titled, self-titled track, Deep Call of Component Deep. Another good track on here is Burial Right and Blood Cracks Open the Ground, but in all, all these are great tracks. I would recommend this album, pick it up, really great, and um, I hope you guys enjoy this. And we will be doing another album review this week to, um, to Moonspell, so I hope you guys enjoy it, stay metal, and check out Deep Call Upon the Deep by Satirica.